Hi, this class is going to be a, a flow and hold class with some advanced posture options and variations. So um, this class is perfect for you if you're looking for a challenge. This will be very strength building and uh, with a lot of the balance postures mixed into class, this will also help you improve your balance. So come to a seated position, find a tall spine. We're gonna begin moving right away. So we're gonna connect our breath to our movement, creating the foundation for our practice, with, which is uh, that connection to the breath. So on your first big breath in, inhale your arms up overhead. And as you exhale, release your right hand or maybe elbow towards your mat and stretch to the side. Breathe in, come to center. Breathe out, switch sides. Again, inhale. Exhale, one more time. Inhale, bring your left hand to your right knee, your right hand out behind, twist, exhale, inhale, twist, exhale. Both sides again, breathe in, twist, Breathe in, twist, breathe in, bring your hands to the earth, switch the cross of your legs, breathe your arms up overhead, bring your hands behind your back, interlace your fingers, open your chest and hinge forward. Bring your fists up and over the back of your head, press the palms of your hands towards one another. On your next breath in, come all the way up. Release your grip and come to tabletop position. Stay connected to your breath. So breathe in, come to cow pose. Breathe out, round to cat pose. With your breath. Last round to cat. And come to neutral tabletop position, long spine from crown of head back through your tailbone. Extend your right arm forward and your left leg back. Hold here, one long line from your fingertips back through the ball of your foot. Bring your right arm to the right and your left leg to the left. Point your left toes toward the front of your mat. Palm faces down on your right hand. Return to spinal balance. Bend your left leg, take your foot from the inside. Press your foot into your hand, start to lift through the crown of your head. Back to spinal balance and release this side. Let's switch sides. So extend your left arm forward and your right leg back. Hold here. Try not to dump into your shoulder, but stay lifted. And the toes on your right foot are pointing down towards your mat. Bring your left arm to the left. Bring your right leg to the right. Point your toes toward the front of your mat. Come back to spinal balance and bend your right leg. Take your foot from the inside. Start to press your foot into your hand and lift through the crown of your head. Continue to kick your foot, increasing your stretch. Come back to spinal balance. Release to tabletop. Bring your knees wide, bring your toes to touch. Press your hips to your heels, walk your hands forward. Nice big stretch in child's pose. 
Try to release your hips all the way toward your heels and then rest your forehead down on your mat. Make sure you can hear your breath flowing in and out through your nose. So you wanna keep the flow even in the hold and you do that through your breath. Make your way to downward facing dog. Find movement in your first downward facing dog. You can pedal your feet. You can sway your hips side to side. You can check in with your neck by wobbling your head. Yes or no, round in circles, releasing any tension. Check in with the palms of your hands. So spread your fingers wide. Press down firmly. Root down through your knuckles. Take one more breath in this downward facing dog. Bring your left uh, foot toward the center of your mat and lift your right leg straight up behind you. Really press back through the ball of your foot. Get a nice long stretch, straight leg. Inhale here. And as you exhale round, bring your knee to your nose. See if you can make contact. Inhale, extend your right leg high. We're gonna do that two more times. So exhale, bring your knee to your nose. Last time, extend it high. Now bring your knee to your nose and hold Okay, so really press into your hands and push the floor away from you and draw your knee closer to your nose so you feel your core just fired up here. Hold it for one more breath. Come back to three-legged dog, stretch it back. Bring your right knee to your right elbow and do this two more times. So extend right leg high Right knee to right elbow, squeeze. Right leg high. Right knee to right elbow, hold. Bring your right knee to your right wrist. Bring it back to your right elbow. And then a little flick of your foot, bring your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Bring your left knee down toward your mat and then reach your right arm back. Take hold of your left foot. Draw your heel in and open and twist. Maybe look back. Gentle release of your left foot down onto your mat. Place your right hand on the floor and then try to do it without dragging. Lift your left knee off the mat, right leg high. Bring your right knee to your left elbow. Right leg high. Right knee to your left elbow. Last time, extend. Now twist and hold. Okay, from here, a little flick of your right foot forward, place it on the floor, left heel down onto your mat, lift your left arm up, fall in triangle pose. Place your left hand down on your mat right leg high. Bring your right knee to your nose. Push the floor away from you. Little flick of your right foot forward. Place it in front of your, between your hands. 
come up onto your fingertips to hover. And then re keep your legs where they are, reach your arms up. Hold here, crescent lunge pose. So find in these poses as we hold them, an equal balance of strengthening. So really active, being aware that your fingers are lifted, that your alignment is in place, that your muscles are active and softening. So avoiding crunching in your shoulders or hunching, avoiding any tension in your face. So soften your face and then softening into your muscles so that you can get a little bit deeper into the pose. For these last couple of breaths, inhale here. Now exhale, dip your left knee to the floor, cactus your arms. Good. Feel the intensity in your left leg as you hold, knee hovering over the floor. all the way back up to crescent lunge and then place your hands on the floor step your right foot back to meet your left for high plank pose again one long line from the crown of your head back towards your heels you have no one there looking at you to correct your alignment just really check in start with the crown of your head make sure that your neck is extended Make sure that your hips aren't sagging. Make sure that you don't have downward dog hips. If you have a hard time holding the pose with the alignment in place, you can place your knees on the mat. Take one more breath in. As you breathe out, lower all the way down onto your belly. Bring your feet to mat distance apart. Bring your arms to capital T and lift everything off your mat. For your last couple breaths, bring your legs together, bring your arms out in front of you, palms face each other. And bring your hands underneath your shoulders, tuck your toes under, come back to high plank. And from high plank, press back to down dog. Breathe deeply here. Bring your right foot toward the center of your mat. Lift your left leg straight out behind you. Really press through the ball of your foot. Work toward a straight leg here. Inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale. Reach up and back. Bring your knee to your nose. Last time. Bring your knee to your nose. Hold. So see if you can make a contact and then press the floor away from you. Bring your knee closer. Turn on your core. Three-legged dog. Bring your left knee toward your left elbow, squeeze. Three-legged dog. Breathe out, left knee, left elbow. Three-legged dog. Left knee, left elbow, hold. Bring your left knee to your left wrist. Bring your left knee to your left elbow. Flick your foot forward. Plant it outside of your hand. Bring your right knee down onto the floor. Bend your leg. 
reach around for your foot. Start to draw your foot in, open your chest, twist. Release, Come back towards center, or sorry, plant your left hand back on the floor, lift your right knee, and then press back up, three-legged dog. Bring your left knee to your right elbow, left leg high, so you're twisting across your body. Knee to elbow, reach up, knee to elbow, hold, Flick your left foot forward, place it on the floor. Place your right foot down, and lift your right arm up. Hold, fall in triangle. Place your right hand on the floor, left leg high. Bring your knee to your nose. Flick your foot forward between your hands. Come up onto your fingertips. Without moving your legs, reach your arms up. Hold here, crescent lunge. Find the balance between strength and softening. Check in with your points of alignment. For your last couple of breaths, bring your knee down toward the floor to hover. Bring your arms into goal post. Just feel that rising sensation in your right quad. Press back up, crescent lunge. Bring your hands to the earth. Step back to high plank. Take a deep inhale here. Exhale, lower chaturanga. Come to 90 degrees, hold. Press up to high plank, lower chaturanga. Come to 90 degrees. Now take the tops of your feet flat to the floor. Press up, upward facing dog. And press back, downward facing dog. Eat your exhale. Lift your right leg up. Bring your right knee to your nose. Step your foot between your hands. Come up to crescent lunge. Take a deep breath in here. And then come into airplane pose. Step forward, reach your arms back. Find your alignment here. Level your hips. Draw your shoulders away from your ears and get really active in your triceps, the backs of your arms. You can have a slight bend to your right knee, avoiding locking anything out. Now try and make this transition smoothly. So you're gonna come into half moon pose. So you're gonna start to open your hips to the side, bring your right hand to the floor or your shin and bring your left arm to the sky. Continuing to hold the balance on your right leg
Now reach your, bend your left leg, take your foot from the outside of your, from the outside, and then press your foot back. Continuing to hold on your right balanced leg. Without slingshotting it, extend your left leg back, left arm up. Bring your left hand down toward your mat and square your hips again. This time both hands on the mat. Release your forehead down toward the floor and then lift your left leg a little bit higher for standing splits pose. Look back toward the back of your mat. Okay, one last push here. Bring your left foot to meet your right. Sit your hips low. Lift your arms up for chair pose. Bring your hands to your heart. Stand up. Inhale, tall mountain. Let's just flow here. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, monkey pose. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Look toward the front of your mat and step or float your feet to the outside of your hands. Bring your hands to your heart, lift through the crown of your head. Breathe in and out through your nose, maybe close your eyes. This is one of the best poses that you can hold for health in your low back and hips. Place your hands on your mat, heel toe your feet to touch, and then bring your knees high up on the backs of your arms and tilt forward for crow pose. If you're working into crane, you can slowly start to straighten your arms. Maybe try a crow jump back, landing with bent arms in chaturanga. Make your way to up dog and back to down dog. Two more breaths here. your left leg high and your left knee toward your nose and step through Come up to crescent lunge big breath in and airplane pose step onto your left leg reach your arms back level your hips
Start to open your hips to the side. Bring your left hand to the floor, a block your shin, and bring your right arm up. And kick your foot into your hand. Take hold of it from the outside of your foot and then kick back, opening the front side of your body, building strength and stamina in your standing leg through this balance sequence. Out slingshotting your leg, extend it. Now level your hips, bring your right hand down toward the floor. Look back toward the back of your mat, release any tension from the back of your neck. Get really active in the standing splits pose, so drive your heel up toward the ceiling or the sky. And our last little push, bring your right foot to meet your left. Sink your hips low, lift your arms high. Take a breath in here. Now lift your heels off the mat and sweep your arms back. Release your heels to the mat. Rise all the way up to Tall Mountain. Breath to movement, forward fold. Inhale, monkey. Exhale, chaturanga. Forward facing dog. Back to downward facing dog, breathe here. Lift your right leg back behind you. Breathe in. Step your foot between your hands. Come up to crescent lunge. Full airplane. Standing staff. Lift your arms up. Reach your leg forward. Standing pigeon. Bring your left ankle over your right knee. Bring your hands to your heart, sink your hips low. Okay, hold, continue to hold here, or take your hands to the earth, wrap your left foot around your right tricep, bring your left knee to your left tricep, and lift your right foot off the floor. Extend it back if you can. I'm very sweaty, so my foot is slipping. You have a nice tight grip, though. You can maybe extend that right leg back. And then come back to standing pigeon. From here, take your left hand to your left hip. Take your right hand, wrap it around the outside of your left foot. Come up to a stand, kick your foot forward, and then reach your left arm back. Okay, we're gonna transition from here to half moon. So bring your right hand down, left leg back. You keep your left arm extended away from you. Take a breath in, and then come to low lunge. From here, take your left hand, 
Keep your left hand on the mat. Take your left peace fingers around your right big toe. Sorry, your right peace fingers around your right big toe. <coughs> Excuse me, roll to your right, left side and then extend your right leg up. Modified side plank. You can hold regular side plank if you want. Bring your right foot back to low lunge. Lift your right leg high. Open your hip, bend your leg, and maybe flip. Have your arm up, back, or support the back of your neck by holding the back of your head. Breathe in. Breathe out, chaturanga. Breathe in, up dog. And breathe out, back to down dog. Recovery breaths here in down dog. Last one. Lift your left leg up. Step your foot between your hands. Crescent lunge, rise up. Airplane pose. Breathe out. Standing staff. Extend your leg forward. And cross your right ankle over your left knee, hands to your heart, sink down. Preparing for our arm balance now. You can stay holding standing pigeon or bring your hands to the earth. Wrap your left, your right toes around your left tricep. Bring your left, right knee to your right tricep. Tip forward and lift your left toes off the mat. If you have a good grip, extend your left leg back. It's a hot and sweaty day in Tamarindo, so I'm very slippery. <laughs> Set your left foot down. Return to standing pigeon. Return to standing staff. Or no, I take that back. Take your right hand to your right hip. Take your left hand, wrap it around your right foot. Extend your right leg out in front of you and your right arm back. Transition to half moon. Keep your right arm lifted and lengthened. Right leg back. Left hand to the earth. Breathe in. And breathe out, low lunge. Your right hand on the floor. Bring your left peace fingers around your left big toe. Transition to side plank variation. Okay, so you bring your foot with you. Maybe extend it up. Bring it back to low lunge. Set it down lightly. Step back high plank. Lower chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Inhale. And exhale to down dog. Step 
or float your way through to a seat and come into boat pose. Keep your chest lifted. Legs can be bent or straight. Make your way to low boat. Come back to high boat and take your peace fingers around your big toes. Extend your legs long. So supported high boat. Keep, see if you can keep your chest lifted. Use your core and separate your legs. Find that sweet spot for your balance. Come back to bring your, leg, bring your legs together and come back to boat. Press your right ankle over your left, bring your hands by your hips, lift your hips off the floor, set them down, other cross, lift your hips, set your hips down, boat pose, cross over your ankles, plant your hands, hop back to chaturanga. Upward facing dog, make your way back to downward facing dog. And just notice your breath, make sure you can hear it, become aware of the sensations in your body, notice your thoughts, holding these poses can definitely be challenging especially in your mind. In your next breath in, lift your right leg up. Step your foot between your hands, come up to crescent lunge. Make your way to warrior two. Come up to five pointed star. Bring your hands to your heart, sink down, hold. Your right heel off the floor, hold. Right heel down, lift your left heel up. Left heel down, both heels up. Both heels down, hold. Come up to five point of star, big breath in. Forward fold, bring your heels behind your toes, hinge at your hips, come all the way down options here. You can hold standing straddle splits, hands on the floor, hands around your ankles, big toes, hands underneath your shoulders, or you can bring your head down onto your mat. Bring your, come up onto your big toes, use your core, engage Mula Bandha, 
Lift your feet off the floor. Bring your feet all the way up. If you prefer traditional yoga headstand, you can come down, interlace your fingers, place your forehead down on your mat, and maybe pike your legs up or split your legs up, or you can tuck your legs up. I personally prefer this on uh, the concrete I'm on right now because you can really engage your arms and lift your head off of the floor. So it's less pressure on the crown of your head. If you're still in tripod headstand, you can straddle down or you can split down or pike down. Return to standing straddle splits. And then come all the way up. We're back. <laughs> warrior two to the front of your mat. Reverse warrior, low lunge. And vinyasa, step back, high plank, lower chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Lift your left leg up. Step your left foot between your hands. Crescent lunge, inhale. Warrior two, exhale. Five pointed star. Sink down, prayer squat. Bring your hands to your knees. Dip your left shoulder to the in, look to the right. Dip your right shoulder in, look to the left. Come to standing straddle splits. Bring your right foot to an angle, toes point out, and then side lunge to the right. Bring your hands to your heart. If you want to experiment with a bind, you can take your right arm around your right leg and reach your left hand around for the clasp. If you're bound, unbind. And come to side lunge on the left. Your left toes point out. Your hands to your heart. You can bring your left arm around your left leg. Clasp your hands behind your back. And come back to center and from here what you're going to do is keep your right leg where it is and start to shimmy your right shoulder underneath your right leg plant your right hand on the floor take your left hand wrap it around the outside of your right foot kind of like we did when we were standing and lift your right leg off the floor maybe spiral open And place your left, right foot back on the floor. And let's switch sides. So come to your left. Shimmy your left arm underneath your left knee. Take your right hand, wrap it around your left foot. Lift your left foot off the floor. Maybe spiral open. And place your foot on the floor. Come back to center. Five-pointed star inhale. 
and warrior two, reverse, low lunge, high plank inhale, chaturanga. Forward facing dog, back to down dog. Look toward your hands and step or float your way through to a seat. Lower down onto your back. Place your hands alongside your body. Bring your feet in toward your hips. And press into your feet and lift your hips off of your mat for bridge pose. Shimmy your left foot toward the center of your body and then lift your right leg off the floor. Cross your right ankle over your left knee. Hold. Place your hips on the floor. Lift your left foot off the floor. Hands around your thigh or shin. Hold. Place your left foot on the floor and switch sides. Come up to bridge, bring your right foot toward center and then lift your left leg off the floor, extend it toward the sky. Cross your left ankle over your right knee, hold. Place your hips on the floor, lift your right foot off the floor Hands around your thigh or shin. Place your right foot on the floor, uncross your ankles. Turn to bridge one more time or flip your hands. Place your palms flat to the floor on either side of your ears and make your way to wheel. Whoa, slippery. When you're ready, make your way back down onto your back. Bring your feet to mat distance apart. Bring your arms to goal post. Release your knees to the right and look to the left. Back to center, release your knees to the left and gaze to the right. Back to center, give yourself a hug, squeeze your knees in. Extend your legs long for Shavasana. Let your feet fall open, let your arms rest alongside your body, palms face up. And breathe in through your nose. 
Hold your breath at the top. Let it go through your mouth. Please stay in your Shavasana for at least another three to five minutes or more if you have the time. Enjoy the relaxation and the rest after that challenging and for me hot practice. <laughs> Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Today as you go forward may you have peace in your thoughts, peace in your words and peace in your heart. Namaste.